Today is lesson six on our unit on adding and subtracting fractions. The goal of today's lessons is to subtract fractions between one and two. So there are going to be some improper fractions and mixed numbers involved with, with this subtraction. I'm doing number three from their homework. It says, Jackson had one and three-eighths kilograms of fertilizer. And he used some of the fertilizer for a flower bed. And he only had two-thirds left. How much fertilizer was used in the flower bed? So this is a subtraction problem, like all these will be on their homework. We're going to do one and three-eighths minus two-thirds to figure out how much fertilizer was used. Now, hopefully you're noticing a couple things. Number one, the denominators are not the same. And number two, one of them is a mixed number and one of them is a fraction. If that happens, you have to get them to both be fractions before you subtract and then get a common denominator. So we're going to change 1 and 3 eighths to an improper fraction. And here's how you do that. I hope you're paying attention. You multiply 1 times 8 to get 8. You add the number on top to get 11 and the denominator stays the same. So that mixed number is now an improper fraction and it's 11 eighths. Now I can subtract it from 2 thirds because now they're both fractions. But hopefully you're noticing that they're not a common denominator. These denominators are different. So I gotta get them to be the same, which is what we did all last week. So we count by eights in our head, we count by threes in our head, and hopefully we realize that they meet at 24. So I'm going to do both of these fractions, get them to be equivalent to something over 24. So I'm going to do the top-bottom rule here, times 8, times 8. This will now become 16. The top-bottom rule here with this fraction, times 3, times 3. And that one becomes 33 over 24. So now I got to do 33 over 24 minus 16 over 24. 33 minus 16 is 17. The denominator stays the same. And my answer in simplest form is 17 over 24.